Well, what a thing to wake up to. Welcome, folks. I am Javi Kuwait, joined by Chara Kirk. What's up? Deadpool update, part Hugh. And now I get the joke. Oh, now I understand it. That's cute. Yes, very cute. Yeah, you get the Hugh jokes now? Coming what? Coming hewn. I don't get the joke. Are you serious? Yeah, I don't get the joke. I do. Good. It took me a minute. Yeah. You guys, uh, thanks so much for joining us. Please do me a big favor. Hit that subscribe button three. What? <laughs> hit that subscribe button three times just in case. This is the first video we're shooting today. So hit the subscribe button, bell icon, all notifications, and pretty please vote this up. Let YouTube know you're enjoying what you're watching. I asked you guys yesterday which was your favorite Deadpool movie, and I should have asked, would any of you like to see a watch along from us for the Deadpool Christmas special because I've never actually seen that movie. And I was curious about it because it was a sort of more family friendly version of Deadpool, I guess, is that they took out some of the foul language and the violence in order to make yeah, it more- Yeah, they made it PG-13. They made it PG-13. Why would you want to do that? In a way, I, I, I guess you can say that they handicapped Deadpool's humor a little bit, but I'm still curious about it nonetheless. And so if you guys are interested in a watch along to that, please let us know in the comments and uh, we'll get right on that. Okay, so Deadpool update part two. Here we go. I still can't believe this is real. Hmm. I, I'm still in disbelief. I like, told you that it was real. Just like with acting jobs, I'm not going to believe it until the paycheck clears. You know, I'm not, I mean, with this, I'm not going to believe it until I'm watching the movie. Okay. Hi. Hi. <laughs> How are you? You have questions. Yes. I, I had a lot of questions. I'm sure you had a lot of questions, but rest assured, we're going to answer them right now. Like, for example, how is Wolverine alive yeah. after Logan? Logan uh, takes place in 2029. Mm -hmm. Totally separate thing. Wait, wait, wait. Logan dies? Yeah. <laughs> what? <laughs> Nothing. I'm just messing around. Mm -hmm. Totally separate thing. Mm -hmm. Logan died in Logan. Not touching that. What actually happens in our film is... <laughs> okay, so yeah. <laughs> right now, you're not hearing any of the music. I just want to make it clear what's going on. <laughs> Aww. Oh my gosh, they're so adorable. Thank you, Kevin Feige. Love you, Kevin Feige. Thank you, MCU. <laughs> <laughs> Finally making it happen. Aww. Fun fact about this particular video. If you download the video, you can see the original name of it, and it is called Dirty Jokes Don't Laugh Challenge. Amazing. Oh, so I was expecting a completely different video when we started this. I thought that they were gonna try to josh each other until one of them broke. I'm guessing that this was totally improvised. They were just messing around to see who could make the other one laugh. I reckon they were probably like, okay, so this is the plan. We're gonna put music on top of it, but we need to make it look as entertaining right. and crazy as possible, so go. Yeah. They're like, okay. I, I loved it. Yeah, this it reminds me so, so much cute. of uh, every time Tarantino is about to tell you what's in the briefcase. So always something happens, like when they were doing promotions for uh, what's that movie called with that he did with Robert Rodriguez? It's a three-hour film because they did both of them back to back. Grindhouse. They were about to talk about it was on MySpace. If you can remember that shit, it was on MySpace, and they were talking about like, oh, we're gonna tell you what's in the briefcase, and then the film breaks or <laughs> like music interrupts. It's always a thing, and so here they were about to tell you what happens, and like obviously not. Well, because I was having a look at the description before hand a okay. little bit and it was saying a quick Deadpool explainer video that tackles timeline questions, Logan Cannon, MCU <laughs> FAQ, whether we can do this all day or not. Brilliant. I mean, it makes sense. They At the very beginning of it, he was, he was explaining that Logan takes place in the future. Yeah. So That's all I needed to know, you know? Or, or honestly, don't really care. Just bring, just bring Wolverine back. Well, the fact of the matter is, we've got the multiverse, you know? Yeah. And so it almost doesn't even matter. Deadpool could have extracted him from somewhere else, or Wolverine could have come from somewhere else by way of whatever. I mean, there are characters who travel through dimensions and time and whatever in X-Men, and so why not? I have a confession to make, and I don't know if this is going to make me a, a very bad Marvel fan. But honestly, I have no idea what year we are in anytime I watch a Marvel movie and I really don't care. You know what I okay. mean? Like, I don't understand why they are set so far in the future when they came out in the past. Oh, uh, 
I'm, you it, lost me. It's like they never, it's like no one actually said at the beginning of Logan, unless I missed it because it was in small print. I think print. they did say it. It's in 2029. I don't know what year it was, but I think they did say, I mean, he was oh, okay. clearly older. He was older. Yeah. But I, I don't know. I'm like, I don't, honestly, don't care. Don't care. <laughs> what, what what year are we I mean, now? I, in, 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 in the last MCU movie we watched, it's definitely not 2022. They're yeah, way ahead of us. I think, yeah, I, you're onto something there because a, a lot of people don't give a shit. It's like when Spock died in Star Trek Wrath of Khan, people like just wanted him back. Like, I don't care. I don't care how. How you bring him back, just bring him back. I just, just I need him. You got your emotional thing out of me, now bring him back, bitches. <laughs> bring him back or we will hunt you down. To completely undermine the drama of yeah. everything that you did and the last thing you did because yeah. the fans want him back. Yeah, but I'm glad he took the time to explain it because that just helps to deal with those people. Yeah. We're just like, well, how's that gonna work? Like, Don't worry, our no movie is a- like set in the present. That was in 2029. We've got a few more years left, okay? Yeah. It makes me wonder what the tone is going to be because it's Deadpool, right? And Wolverine has never been a comedic character. Like none of the X-Men movies are like focused on comedy or ha-has. They're like, if there's funny moments, it's just situational humor, you know? It's not like jokes. And so it's very- Uh, They do have jokes. (laughs) What? In Guardians. That's jokes. I'm talking strictly about Wolverine. Oh. Yeah. Oh, the MCU has jokes, certainly a char Okay, I'm, I'm not. Confused. That's not lost on me. I'm okay. talking about Wolverine's character. He's like, but I mean, I guess the way I see it in my mind is he's just a straight man. Well, yeah. That's the easy way to play it. And Deadpool's the, you know, goofy one. Yeah. But, and so I have, I'm just very, very curious about like, cause I haven't read any of the comics and I am not, I'm just not as familiar with Deadpool outside of the movies. The first time I discovered Deadpool was actually during an audition process that I was running for Comic-Con, which is, I don't know if any of you, if I've mentioned that before, years ago, like they were, they just wanted a Deadpool guy at Comic-Con for like Uh. some kind of an announcement. And so I was auditioning Deadpool and I am like, who's this guy, Deadpool? This is before the Ryan Reynolds movie and all that stuff. And I was like, this guy's awesome. This is such a funny script. And, you know, come to find out he's one of the coolest characters in the MCU. Yeah. Um, And so I just wonder how that works together with Wolverine. Well, I feel like in the iterations of Wolverine that I've seen, he he does have a sense of humor, but it's usually like dry. Gotcha. But, you know, it's going to be cool again, like just like with Logan, because that was rated R. Um, presumably this is rated R. You know, with Logan, they were able to be more free with what the violence was yeah. and, and whatever. And I'm guessing with Deadpool being rated R, you get to have that kind of Wolverine again. You know, because most of the MCU films, I mean, or not MCU films, most of the films with Wolverine, you know, it was kind of handicapped. It was kind of tamed. It's like, okay, well, we can only show so much. He's got the claws. <laughs> and then, oh, I'm going to stab you. I'm just going to like hit you in the ribs. You know like, yeah. you know what I mean? Like they always had to do something funky because it was PG-13. Whereas in Logan, they just let loose. And here, we'll get that again. Yay. So you guys, thanks so much for hanging out. Hopefully you enjoyed this. Do subscribe, bell icon, all notifications. Fuck this up, please. I'm Jabby Kawai. This is Achara Kirk. Peace out.